Hey guys, I'm going to do a collective couples read real quick. I don't think this one will be long. I don't know. I don't know. I'll get right into it. Let's take a look. Uh, this is a collective read. I'm going to read one side and then the other side. You'll be able to tell where you fit or whatever. Or for some of you guys, this probably won't be your story. You never know. But take what resonates, leave the rest behind. We're just going to pull energy for this collective couple here. We're going to see what's going on with the energies. We have... For the first energy, I'm pulling cards back here. <laughs> Let's see what comes up for this first person here. Let's see what comes up under this first person. We have something about moments. Now, this card did come out reverse. There's something about a moment here. Think of a special moment that brought you mu a much better joy with your partner. So some of you guys could be facing some um, moments right now that are turbulent Moments that you don't find to be special or something like that. Something where I feel like you guys are disappointed in something or something like that. I get this energy. Think of a special moment. I feel like you guys are being asked to bring your, yourselves back to a place where moments were special with your partner. It's almost like, can we smooth things over? Can we get back to a place? You see that where they're now holding hands? This did come out reverse. So this to me symbolizes some... Um, I don't know. There could be some kind of conflict. It's funny because that does come out. Um, and we do have the tower card that comes out for this first energy here. That does symbolize Scorpio. We also have here coming up for this energy with this first person moments. I feel like this person, uh, if you guys are looking to rekindle, you probably need to go back to those more simpler moments. To having coffee, holding hands in the morning. It was, you know, whatever. We also have here Cupid. I feel like there's something off with this relationship a little bit. Love is in the air when Cupid's around. Now, for some of you guys, you could be uh, feeling love for somebody. Or in this, I'm going to be literal, all right? I feel like there's some disdain for somebody here with this connection. I feel like for some of you guys, you are trying your best to get back to a place where you feel something for this person, all right? Uh, I feel like moments to an extent, I don't know if they've been taken, destroyed. I feel like there's something where there is not love in the air, but there's disdain in the air. I'm trying to, uh, you know, use a, a word that is not as harsh as, you know, other words. All right, let's see what else is going on for this person here. This is, uh, this is person A. Like I said, you'll be able to know where you fit. We also have something about the universe. Oof. The universe is guiding you to a special person. Allow everything to take its natural course. Some of you guys are still trying to have control over something. Some of you guys are... Mm. The universe is guiding you to that special person. Now, that special person could be your person having grown. And maybe you weren't able to get in yet. For some of you guys, this could be a whole nother person here. It's something about the universe... Uh, in some cases, the universe might be guiding you to stay away from some new person or something like that. Let's see what else is going on, right? That's coming out reverse. Everything for you guys so far with this first line is coming out reverse here. So there's moments. I don't know if you guys feel like moments have been taken away. There's some disdain in the air towards this relationship. There's something with the universe stepping in. Uh, but the universe is guiding you away from, I feel like, somebody that is new. Uh, let's see what else is coming on here. Uh, we have enlightenment. So with enlightenment, there is no separation. We recognize that we are one with the divine. Now, for some of you guys, you're being enlightened about some sort of a situation. Uh, for some of you guys, this could have been a separation for you. I feel like some of you guys are trying to find a way to reconnect with somebody that you could be in separation with. Um, and some of you guys could be praying about this matter, going deep within about this matter. Uh, this card always, is. it also feels like um, you guys are praying to... <sighs> understand why some sort of interruption had to happen or something like that there was something that interrupted and i think you guys might be getting an answer give me one more because you don't pull five feelings take time to explore the deep emotions you're experiencing i feel like you guys have these emotions that look like um something may have went awry in one area and there's another area that cannot be entertained there's some sort of intervention or something that happened in between here with feelings so i'm showing there's something about enlightenment and feelings so there's a possibility you guys may have found something out been enlightened about something and gained some new feelings and trying to figure out are my feelings real about this situation something like that all right so i have that energy coming up let's take a look and see what's going on with this other person for this collective couples read let's see what else is going on here please tell me what else is going on with this second person here let's see what's going on with this person uh, for some of you guys, oh, let me see what this is. I see Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I see Scorpio. Again, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This is a lot of Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. There's Capricorn, straight up Capricorn. 
and they're straight up uh, Scorpio here as the major arcanas. Everything else that comes up here, honest to goodness, guys, is all pinnacles. This is all about money. All right, this is all about material, things like that. Let's take a look and see what's going on with this other person. So, so far, we have the tower where something falls apart. Um, I feel like for some of you guys, um, something had to fall apart in order, in order for something to heal. I feel like at some point there might have been some upheaval. Obviously, I see that here. Uh, let's take a look and see what's going on with the energy of this other person in this collective relationship read. What's going on here? Tell me what is going on with this second person. We have, oh, that one came up first. We have union. Okay, so the union of divine soul counterparts is a miraculous event that begins when you least expect it. I feel like whoever this person is, there's a possibility that this union of feelings could have been caught off guard for this person. Whatever this is about for you guys. Give me more, please. I think this happened and they didn't expect it. It was something that they felt was miraculous, some kind of divine soul something. Think carefully about a situation. I feel like whatever the situation is with these surprise feelings really caught this person off guard. So there's some sort of temptation. Think carefully. You've been advised to think carefully about a matter, a union, getting into something, right? And something, that, you know, when you started to feel something, you started to think about it. Because there was temptation here. Let's see what else happens. Give me more. We also see here, learn. This is somebody who's refusing to learn something. I'm not going to learn this lesson. Let love show you how to learn from each other. You refuse to learn a lesson about a situation, whoever this person is. I feel like both you guys neglected to... Um, I feel like, honestly, let me just go back. I want to say this first person here, it looks like... They started to pay attention to the signs of the universe and why they were being guided away from something or why there had to be an intervention of something, right? We see union here where somebody was caught by surprise by these feelings. They get tempted, but they refuse to learn a lesson. Let's see what else happens with the second person. Let's take a look and see what happens. All right. All right. Now, also, confusion. This person is attempting to come out of some sort of confusion. All seekers of truth experience confusion. Ask the divine to provide the answers you need. Instead, there was some confusion. And I don't know that this person actually was seeking a divine. They could have been seeking some other source. Right? To get their answers. They could have been seeking some other source. So they could have been dabbling or whatever was going on here. We see that energy. Right? We also see somebody with a loss of power that comes up under this energy too. The power of love is a magnet drawing souls together. It looks like there's something where somebody lost some sort of power and there was some sort of separation here, which is why we see this first energy in separation. So we see that somebody became tempted. But let's not, let's not. Now this other one over here, there was some feelings caught too. But there were feelings that were already there. Then something happened. There was some sort of enlightenment. Something that they found out. What did you find out that made your feelings switch? Or be dispersed? I don't even think this is 50-50. I feel like there were other, you know, energies or whatever. But I feel like feelings got split because of something that they found out. That's what it looks like to me. I don't know. All right. Let's see what happens here. Now, I am going to, because guess what, guys? On this second board, you know, my little second place. You'll always know when I'm in the second place by that if I decide to keep it. I'm a Scorpio, so you know we switch up. We ain't got time. And it don't look right and we don't feel right about it. We out. It's literally that simple. So what we see here is two people. Confusion. A loss of power. Somebody tempted by something. Something where somebody found something out. There were signs from the universe to stay away from something or answers from the universe or whoever it is this person i don't know who y'all serve i'm confused about that too look like to me i know what i think i see i know what i see but i'm gonna be kind about this oops i'm gonna be very kind about it i'm in a new spot guys sorry about this so i feel like whatever's going on here uh -oh. all right let me get that together hold on guys i'm having some technical difficulties but this is real life i think you should see it all right all right let's see if we can get this together all right all right, so let's get into the read here. I'm going to move these over just a little bit. Like I was saying to you guys, this is, this is, this is Tower and this is the Devil. Let's get into it. Hold on, let me just move this stuff 
I still got to get used to my new workspace and try and figure out how to whatever. All right. So what we have here is we have the tower that came out reverse for this first person in this collective read. Take what resonates, guys. Honestly, put yourself where you belong in this read. It may not be your read. Now, I do have plenty of relationship reads. You can go pick signs. I plan on doing more signs. And I'm just going to, I'm going to kind of freestyle a little bit, I think. But what I'm showing here for this first energy here, this person is trying to break free from some sort of a situation, right? I feel like this is something where this person put themselves in this self-imposed prison. I cannot get beyond these four walls. I feel like for some of you guys, this is designed this way where something had to fall or you allowed something to fall. I feel like this is something that was like, it was something that you wanted. Because when you look at the tower in reverse, well, when the tower is upright, it's something that is unwanted. It's change. It's kind of like disgraceful upheaval. But I feel like you guys, you're like, listen, I already know what's going to come out. Let me just let the chips fall. This is the energy that I'm getting. I'm feeling like somebody got really fed up in some sort of a situation. This could have to do with a Scorpio. Somebody got fed up in some sort of a situation here. And I feel like they were like, listen, it is what it is. It's all going to come out. Just let the chips fall. But when the chips fall, this person is willing to drag everybody down with them in order for it to happen. Right? So there's something here about external things getting involved, material losses, ego being destroyed and trying to find some sort of a new identity something that i feel like this person wanted to do anyway which is why they allowed it the cards are also saying that there's something here about violence so some of they could be arguing or whatever's going on here in this dynamic arguing there could be um disagreements upheaval uh, i feel like airing out dirty laundry or whatever's going on here now i don't know if this is being done outright I feel like for some of you guys, this is something that could be kept in the background, but there's something external going on here that has some kind of impact on the way this first energy is looking at the situation. Now, I also see here that there's some of you guys, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo because we see this energy here with the King of Pentacles. Now, this is somebody that comes across as, uh, I would say, the more stable one in this relationship. They're worldly, they're well-traveled, fairly intelligent, right? They're focused on their quality of life. See, to them, there are certain things that are important. There's something about money being very important to them, but they're like, it's about what I do with my money that is very important. So there's something here with finances, something about money, something about a desire for long-term security, willing to spend my money in the right places, willing to invest in the right things. But I also see here that there's definitely some fair change. So I feel like for some of you guys, you're in a relationship where somebody wants to expand something, but they're scared to do it. We also see here the four of pinnacles. It does come out reverse for you guys. And I want you to see that. Hold on. Yeah, you can see that, right? It comes out reverse for you guys. This is about material rewards for this person. Now with this person, it looks like stability is not your friend. You don't have any stability. It looks like the things are shaky. There's something about your talents here, fear of taking risks. There's something about you being extremely talented, but you're also scared to step out on something. Even if it looks like you have the finances to do it, it looks like you might be scared to invest in the very thing that you want to do, whatever that's about. Now, for some of you guys, your person is feeling like their talents are marginalized. Like people don't acknowledge what I do. And for some of you guys, you're too weak to take control over it. So that's the energy that's coming up for this first person. We see that. This person is being advised to take control over this matter, whatever this is about. I don't know if this person is. I feel like this person is in a place where they're listening now, whatever that is about. Let's take a look at the next energy that shows up in this read. We do have the three of pentacles here. So let's take a look at this. This person is skilled. Craftsmanship. They work with teams. Something about home, something about repairs. So this person's probably handy or something or really focused on the home, whatever this is about. Now, this person desires recognition. They want it. I want you to look at me. I'm productive. I can get this dynamic going. I can get this thing going. I can get it on fire. I can make stuff move. I can make stuff move in my favor. I like details. 
I like listening to stuff over and over and over again. I love looking. I like following. Because I'm not a real leader. See, this person likes to adopt certain things, right? Like they'll sit back and they'll look over and over and over again. It's almost like this person is insecure or they're having some sort of mental identity crisis in a sense because I feel like they tend to, uh, they, they lose themselves, right? Out of boredom, lose themselves out of deviousness or whatever it is that they do, but they turn around and they try and adapt somebody else's personality, right? So if you look at this person, any of us, I mean, you might know somebody like this, Depending on what you do, you might be able to just, you know, some of our people on TV do this too. So you might be able to go back months back. You might be able to go ahead and take a look at some of the mannerisms that begin to change. The speech, the words. How they adopt different speech forms. How they try and take on the identities of other people. And it becomes very suspicious to this other person. I see that. Actually, it becomes very suspicious to many people. I feel like even for the person or people they could be doing this to, it becomes very obvious, but it's suspicious. So I don't know how many people were speaking. I feel like a lot of people were looking back like, oh, I see this. This is so this person, I don't know what they thought. Right. But there's some creative detail, something that they went into somebody's something, something backyard cameras, whatever they were doing. Real sneaky. You feel a sneaky, desperate, vicious, insecure, have nothing type of energy, like one of those, you know, low life people like that. I want to be very clear. Both of these energies here come across as low down in a sense, scheming, codependent manipulative right but this person here had some kind of skill that they wanted to utilize i'm going to show it off to the world i want everybody to see and let me tell you do they all see so we have the devil energy that comes up for this second person boy you guys are something else it's very interesting we see the devil energy that comes up for the second energy this person is enslaved to their ego enslaved the cards say here that you are vulnerable to your own personal demons. Even though, even though there's this sense of being mature. As in, I get this energy that we're not dealing with a teenager here, right? We're dealing with this energy that is, I would say, mentally ill. I would say unhappy. I would say desperate. I would say in despair, because it, it's almost as if this person lives a lie of some sort. That's what it looks like. I also see here, there's something about ignorance. Something about materialism. Shackles that grow in your spirit of jealousy. Ooh, cha. Jealousy eats you up. There's something about fantasizing. I can't come out my dream. I don't know what is real. I don't know what is reality. This is how caught up this person gets mentally in this whole sick, sick little scenario, whatever's going on. Now, I want you guys to understand, too, that people will see this. We also see here there's something about business decisions, something about choosing to take the path of darkness as it pertains to a situation. It says extreme darkness, actually. I feel like this person could practice some kind of dark arts. As a matter of fact, I can almost guarantee you that this person practices dark arts. So, you know, with that, sometimes when you see certain things, like me, when I see certain things, I usually sit back and look for a little while. I just look. You see what it is, but you look and everything just starts to make sense, right? So you guys probably saw some signs with this person or you're seeing some signs with this person. 
it looks a little shady to me. We also have the Eight of Pentacles reversed here. Now, I am showing that the energy of one of the partners here, right? Actually, it looks like it feels like it could be both of them, but I feel like it, it displays more. When you are dealing with two narcissists, right? You're still going to have one that overpowers the other. And in this case, we have this energy here who decided that they were going to be the one to overpower. So this is a narcissistic energy with the Eight of Pentacles reversed here. It talks about this person demanding way too much or way too little. Now, in this scenario, based off what I see here with all the pinnacles, I'm going to say that this person demanded a whole bunch, but it was about the finances, right? It was about finances. There was something about long-term goals being ignored. Financially, I want to point out that the cards are saying that this person couldn't even make it to the end of the week with their finances. So that's why they had to keep going back to this other energy. And it gets to the point where this person's attention becomes divided by something that was said. So somebody starts to probe or somebody's like, why are you probing? Either somebody starts to probe because I feel like the probing may have happened here. Somebody may have saw it or somebody saw the other one probing. And that's where the infatuation and obsession from both these people Let's take a look and see what else happens here. Now, like I said, this person financially couldn't make it to the end of the week. So, you know, when people are desperate for money, they do desperate things. When they want to stay relevant, they do desperate things to try and make themselves stay relevant. So that's what you see here. You see this broken individual who's pretending. Pretending, look at them. They're up telling people this and that. Oh, look at how great I am. Oh, I got it. One of them people to stand up like a hot shot. One of them big shot people. But when the cameras go off, you know, you count how many packs of oatmeal you have to eat so you can feed everybody. So there's some, you know, pretentious posing going on here. That's about to say the least. But anyway, the energy of this couple here. It's the Five of Pentacles reverse. Let's take a look at that. <clears throat> with these folks, because like I said, this is a short read. With these folks here, what I'm showing is there's something about poverty. There's something about them staying out of the way of people due to judgment. I feel like the judgment is on these folks, whatever this is about, right? This is about greed. This is about insecurity. This is about breakups. Financial jeopardy. I could lose everything. Notice I say I could lose everything. These folks are in separation here. Whatever this is about, I could lose everything. So you guys are looking at each other as solo. You're not even looking at each other as like a whatever. But I do want to say good luck to you with this. I do. Let's see if there's anything else we need to know in terms of messages. Let me go ahead and get the psyche for these folks, whatever this is about. Like I said before, guys, uh, the energy here, if you take a look at this, you don't see there are no cups here. Feelings or emotions are referenced more down here with the current energy. Somebody's exploring. I found something out. Something about somebody being powerless, knocked off their high horse or whatever. They were tempted by the ice cream and they fell for the joke. See, that's what a trap is. Let's take a look and see. Let's see. Um, because let's see. I'm I'm pretty confident. All of this, there's got to be some love here. There's got to be. I don't know if this is moved beyond love, all to money now, all to deception, all to trickery. You know, uh, temptations or whatever this is. Give me the psyche, please. I want the psyche. Give me the psyche feelings. The first partner, please. What do you have to say? It came out reverse. Don't ever let me go. This person saying, let me go. Hold on. Give me more. I'm scared. This person saying, I am not scared of you. Give me more. Ooh. Okay. It says, will you marry me? So this person is still thinking, will you marry me? So I don't know who this is for, right? This person, I don't know if they're giving into marriage for you, but it does say it's caught up between two energies. Let's be real. Let's show me what's going on. What does this person have to say to the other partner? All right. So maybe you guys are going to attempt to get married in efforts or hopes to make somebody feel more secure here. Maybe that's what this is about. Somebody wants marriage out of it. Mm. Marriage don't make you feel more secure. 
I'm just saying. I, I, trust me. All right. Now, tell me, what does this person have to say? What does this person have to say? You weren't loyal. This person's coming for you because you weren't loyal. So they're saying that's why they're acting this way. Hmm, that's interesting. Give me more, please. One more. This person is also saying, I know I messed up. They're like, I don't feel like I messed up. I don't feel nothing. I don't think this person feels like they messed up. That's what they're saying. I say, I feel. I don't care how you feel. <laughs> Give me more, please. One more. One more from this person. One more from this person. Caress me with your heart. This person is saying, listen, both you guys are saying, one is like, will you marry me? One is like, caress me with your heart. I'm asking you for the love to love me. Now, this other one over here, there's something interesting about this. I'm trying to figure out what it is. Feelings. Take time to explore the deep emotions you're experiencing. Can we get back to a place? I feel like there may have been some harmony with this couple at some point. I feel like for some of you guys, it efforts to save this, even though the universe may be trying to deter you. Some of you guys are still going to move forward with some kind of a marriage with this person, whatever this is about. Or are you going to ask them to marry you? So... Whatever this is about, there's a will you marry me and then there's a will you caress me. Okay. Let's see. Let's take a look. Okay. Now, please help me understand something. Let me see the light man. There is no separation. I recognize. Okay, there's no separation. All right. I really feel like, because you guys are in separation, but there's something about the universe. What's this about? The universe is guiding you to that special person. Allow every this might just be about each other. There's a possibility you guys are literally just supposed to be with each other. Whoever this is, whatever this couple is. Maybe you guys are literally just supposed to be with each other. Whatever this is about. But somebody feels powerless. Somebody something about learning. Somebody's not learning a lesson about something. Is this the same person or is this two different people? I really can't tell. All this energy is like, like I said, some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Scorpio, but that's really Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo shows up here. That's literally all the cards. Is how many, Show me who this is about, please. Who's this about? Okay, disorganized, careless. Some of you guys, this is an oh, air sign, a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini energy. All right, give me one more, please. Or... Somebody is disorganized and careless with the Knight of Swords reverse. Somebody's unpredictable. Queen of Cups, compassion, and uh, let's see, intuitive feminine healing. We have the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Cups. Give me one more. And then we have the Justice card. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Libra. Somebody feels like they were lied to. I don't know if this is answering my question, but I would say that if there's anybody, if this is two different people, it could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a Libra, Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. But there's something with the Ten of Cups. Somebody's looking for the Ten of Cups. There was dishonesty. There was injustice in the situation. And somebody wants fulfillment? Justice. I felt like I was treated un un unjustly in the situation and I want fulfillment. Give me, give me one more for that one. Give me one more for this person. Somebody um, feels like there's some kind of confusion, too much confusion with the seven of cups. They're not sure what they want to choose, but there's some kind of temptation here. Somebody's tempted by something. There's a lot of water energy here. Some sort of temptations here. Somebody's not looking at the bigger picture as it comes to a situation. They're daydreaming, but they're under some sort of an illusion or they don't know what their purpose is, which is why they're probably dealing with this, whatever. Give me uh, this second person here. Who is this? Show me who this is. If there's anybody else other than a Capricorn or um, Capri dang. Capricorn Taurus Virgo. That's crazy. Um, all right. Show me. Is this anybody else? Who else could this be? Or the Chariot. This could be a Sagittarius. For some of you guys, I think some of you guys call this Cancer too in some decks or some astrology, whatever. Um, there's something here where there's some triumph. Triumph in the face of difficulty. There's some kind of drive, willpower, and confidence looking for some kind of direction. This person is trying to take control of this relationship. All right. So we see somebody trying to take control of this relationship because they felt like they weren't treated or they feel like they want you to love them. We also have here emotional immaturity. Page of Cups reversed. Something here where this person was moving towards and go their way. 
um, it was either handled with emotional insecurity or they were disappointed in something. What's the disappointment? Why is the Page of Cups reversed here for this second partner, please? Why is the Page of Cups reversed? Again, it's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Why? What happens? Why is this person disappointment, disappointed with the Page of Cups reversed? All right, there's something about somebody not making up their mind. This person felt like they had to sacrifice a lot of things. And I feel like they had to separate from something to hang man. Finding out something or moving a different way with something, something about moving in wisdom, having a different perspective about something. This person, there was something about a sacrifice. They made some kind of a sacrifice and disengaged from the situation. I don't know if you guys are talking to each other. It looks like there's a separation here, but there's also, and that's Pisces. So some of you guys, this is about a Pisces. I just wanted to go and give me one more, please. What is the sacrifice here? Perspective, release, disengagement. I don't believe it. Give me, so what's the sacrifice? The sacrifice is uh, being unfocused. They sacrifice finances. There's some sacrifice of money. Like I'm giving up money to go somewhere and try and take some kind of control of something. They're sacrificing everything. Unfocused. Why is the Eight of Pentacles reversed, please? Because of the Knight of Pentacles. Something about work. Unfocused, you're not focusing on your work. Something about the night to take a practical approach. Uh, all right, difficult choices and decision. There's some kind of conf uh, confusion about a decision that needs to be made with the two of swords here. For some of you guys, you're trying to balance forces, trying to compromise and make a decision about fertility. Let's see. Stagnation, infertility, something about infertility. Some somebody maybe this person was trying to get pregnant or this this person is trying to make a decision about a pregnancy or something like that. Lack of self selfishness. I don't know if this person's energy is switching up, stagnation, not willing to move about something. Why is the empress reversed here? I feel like for some of you guys the empress is not getting what they want here. It says something about pregnancy expanding something this person's not able to expand the way they want to mm. this person is practicing dark arts just like i said it's confirmed all right so we see that tell me why the five of pentacles oops is reversed I guess that one is a, tell me why the five of pentacles is reversed for this couple please but we see somebody was un under some sort of illusion here look the seven of cups is reversed illusions lack of purpose confusion somebody confused you on purpose they did the okie doke on you and here we have the tricksters, deception, creative blockages, creative blockages, dabbling, you know, sprinkling a little bit of this while saying a little bit of that while standing up, um, shut up, standing up, people with strange outfits, I'm standing up, let me tell you this, let me shut up. All right, so let's see what's going on with the Five of Pentacles reversed here. What, why is the Five of Pentacles reversed? The sun, vitality, blessings, enlightenment, and joy. Hold on. So the sun is a good card. That's material happiness. Yours is reversed. I said, why? Fleeting success. All right, hold on. Joy, warmth. Tenosaurus. All right. So basically what happened was the reason why these folks here are having this issue, this couple's having these financial issues is because of street, uh, sneakiness, deception. I'm trying to figure this part out though. It's a do, it's a new day. It's the beginning of something new, vitality, blessings, enlightenment. So you guys, I think what this is, is these folks are understanding why they're suffering the five of pentacles like why is the five of pentacles reversed it shows that you guys are getting some kind of enlightenment about something something about the reason why you're having fleeting success or lack of resources with the ten of pentacles reverse is because you were backstabbing so we have the ten of pentacles in reverse and i said why it's because uh you failed because of defeat backstabbing failure unfinished How'd that go for you? Don't look like it's working out too well. But that's all I have for you guys. We just want to take a quick look at this collective couple here. Oh. We have Aries. Hold on. We have Aries, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. And who is the world? Oh, that's Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Leo and Aquarius. 
How'd that go for you? You doing all right? The card said you can't make it to the end of the week. I'm just saying. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's all I have. I love you guys so much. Enjoy the read. It was fun. All right, I'll see y'all in a little bit. Bye. Oh, I got a bigger table. That's why I did it out here. Yeah, there's stuff falling. I still got to finish screwing this stuff in. But thank you guys so much. I love you. I love you. I love you. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.